It is the mark of a primitive culture to imagine that simplicity is barbarian and complexity is highly advanced. In truth, it is just the other way around. Here is the greatest divine dichotomy. The greatest complexity is the greatest simplicity. The more complex a system is, the more simple is its design. Indeed, it is utterly elegant in its simplicity. The master understands this. This is why a highly evolved being lives in utter simplicity. Highly evolved systems of government, education, economics, or religion all are utterly, elegantly simple. So let us remember that the mission of Christ, your mission, is to save you from not knowing and experiencing who you really are. His intention was to demonstrate that by showing you what you can become, indeed what you are, if you can only accept that. Jesus sought to lead by example. This is why he said, I am the way and the life. Follow me. He didn't mean follow me in the sense that you would all become his followers, but in the sense that you would all follow his example and become one with God. He said, I and the Father are one and ye are my brethren. He couldn't have put it more plainly. And so I will say it again. The differences between human cultures and highly evolved cultures is that highly evolved beings observe fully and communicate truthfully. They see what works and say what is so. This is another tiny but profound change which would immeasurably improve life on your planet. It is simply a matter of what is functional, of what brings benefit. Each individual is the sole and final arbiter of what is and is not appropriate behavior for them. Remember that caring creates communication, and where there is deep love, words are virtually unnecessarily. Ultimately, all real communication is about the truth, and ultimately, the only real truth is love. That is why when love is present, so is communication. And when communication is difficult, it is a sign that love is not fully present. Awareness, honesty, and responsibility. These three are interchangeable. One leads to the other. It does not matter what order they come in. Honesty, responsibility, awareness. Highly evolved beings have decided long ago that this is how they choose to live together. They've simply made this choice on an observation of what is so and what works. I will say again that the difference between highly evolved societies and human society breaks down to one really very simple element, which we shall call truthful observation. In highly evolved societies, beings acknowledge everything they see. In human societies, many deny what they see. They see television ruining their children and they ignore it. They see violence and losing used as entertainment and deny the contradiction. They observe that tobacco harms the body and pretend it does not. They see a father who is drunken and abusive and the whole family denies it, letting no one say a word about it. They observe that over thousands of years their religions have failed utterly to change the mass behaviors and, to, and they deny this too. They see clearly that their governments do more to oppress than to assist, and they ignore it. They see a health care system that is really a disease care system, spending one-tenth of its resources on preventing disease and nine-tenths on managing it, and deny that profit motive is what stops any real progress on educating people in how to act and eat and live in a way which promotes good health. They see that eating the flesh of animals that have been slaughtered after having been force-fed chemical laid in foods is not doing their health any good, yet they deny what they see. They do more than that. They try to sue some talk show hosts who dare even discuss the subject. People will deny, deny, deny that this makes any sense. And that is the point. Much of your race lives in denial. They deny not just the painful, obvious observations of everyone around them, but the observations of their own eyes. They deny their personal feelings and eventually even their own truth.
but highly evolved beings, which some of you are becoming, deny nothing. They observe what is so, they see clearly what works. Using these simple tools, life becomes simple. The process is honored. Remember this about the process. Everything depends on who you think you are and what you are trying to do. If your objective is to live a life of peace, joy, and love, violence does not work. This has already been demonstrated. If your objective is to live a life of good health and great longevity, consuming dead flesh, smoking known carcinogens, and drinking volumes of nerve-deadening, brain-frying liquids does not work. This has already been demonstrated. If your objective is to raise offspring free of violence and rage, putting them directly in front of vivid depictions of violence and rage does not work. This has already been demonstrated. If your objective is to care about the earth and wisely husband her resources, acting as if those resources are unlimited does not work. This has already been demonstrated. If your objective is to discover and cultivate a relationship with a loving God so that religion can make a difference in the affairs of humans, then teaching of a God of punishment and terrible retribution does not work. This too has already been demonstrated. Motive is everything. Objectives determine outcomes. Life proceeds out of your intentions and your true intentions is revealed in your actions and your actions are determined by your intention. As with everything in life and life itself, it is a circle. Highly evolved beings see the circle. Humans do not. Highly evolved beings respond to what is so. Humans ignore it. Highly evolved beings tell the truth always. Humans too often lie to themselves as well as others. Highly evolved beings say one thing and do what they say. Humans say one thing and do another. Deep down you know that something is wrong, that you intended to go to Seattle but you are in San Jose. You see the contradictions in your behavior and you are truly ready to abandon them. You see clearly both what is so and what works and you are becoming unwilling to support any further divisions between these two. Yours is a race awakening. Your time of fulfillment is at hand. You need not be discouraged by what you have heard here, for the groundwork has been laid for a new experience, a larger reality. And all this was merely preparation for it. You are now ready to step through the door. This dialogue has been intended to throw open the door, but first to point to it. See, there it is. For the light of truth will forever show the way. And the light of truth is what you have been given here. Take this truth now and live it. Hold this truth now and share it. Embrace this truth now and treasure it forevermore. There is no need to go further. There is no need to ask more questions or hear more answers to satisfy more curiosities or provide more examples or offer more observations. All you need in order to create the life you desire you have found here. All we can do now is repeat, reamplify, return to the same wisdom over and over again. There is nothing new here but simply ancient wisdom revisited. And it is good to revisit it is good to become familiar once again. This is the process of remembrance of which I have spoken so often. You have nothing to learn. You have only to remember. You may go within at any time to return to the seat of eternal wisdom.